Hey everybody, it's Melanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video I am so excited about. I am at the Junk Ranch, which is a two times, sometimes three time a year event in uh, Prairie Grove, Arkansas, which is a small town about 30, 45 minutes nestled in the foothills of the Ozarks, kind of west and south a little bit of Fayetteville, Arkansas. If you're familiar at all with the area, Prairie Grove is a fantastic little historic town. It has the historic Civil War battleground here, and it has a nice little antiques district, which hopefully I'm gonna get to show you guys later in this video. But the Junk Ranch is becoming one of the fastest growing large vintage markets that happens around the country. And so I always love when it's Junk Ranch weekend and it's time to come down. This is about 45 minutes to an hour at the most from where I live. I live a little bit farther north. Um, and I'll tell you guys, like, it is really just out in a field. And so you need to be prepared if you come for um, being able to kind of drive and park out into a bumpy, sometimes muddy field, sometimes walking in a muddy field. Um, we're out in the country at this thing, but it is a great event. There's some really great vendors here, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Okay, so let's get going. So this vendor was the very first one that you come to inside the gates and you can see, gosh, guys, there's just a lot here to see. This little candy tin was one of the first pieces that I spotted. What I love about the Junk Ranch is it kind of has something for everyone. There's lots and lots of smalls. Um, there's really big pieces, furniture that I'm going to show you later. Um, there's kind of kitschy, there's collectibles, there's primitives. I mean, anything that you could want you will probably find here, which I think is just super, super fun. And really the show keeps getting better and better every year, in my opinion. Every year when I come, there's better vendors and a better selection. And I did spot this paint by number last supper. That was in the second booth as I walked in. I decided to pass on it um, mainly because it didn't have a frame and um, I just didn't want to go through the hassle of trying to find a frame for it. but. It was a good find. So I really like these. I think these would maybe look really nice in my master bedroom. They're 14 a piece. Colors on that one. Yeah, not exactly, but I also love this. Price on it is 30. A little more than what I want to pay this. Oh, we for sure have to look through these. <laughs> love old art. She had a lot of really neat art. You guys know how I like vintage art. Prices were eh, just a tad bit more than I wanted to pay, but um, I may come back and think about some pieces, but I just started, I wanna keep looking before I spend all my money on art. <laughs> okay, these are the same vendors that are usually in this spot. I have shopped from them a couple of times before, and 
they usually have some great finds. So we're gonna start picking through their space. Let's see what we can find. Immediately, I spot this, just because of that awesome green paint color. Wouldn't this make a gorgeous planter? Even that paint on the bottom, I love it. Just, I love that color up here where it's been weathered by the sun. Not seeing a price. Maybe this is it down here. It's my pet peeve when there's not a price. Okay, 30 on that. Still pricing? That's right. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Oh yeah, it happens. Okay, these guys are fun. 28. Three of them. Those would make really fun and unique decor. I love those. always kind of a sucker for these little miniature old kitchens. This one's 15. Super cute. I like this. The old Folgers coffee. $12. This is a ironstone platter right here. She's got 35 on it. How fun is this? Look at this. 35. That is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Isn't that so cute? Hi. I ran to another junk friend from YouTube, Mandy, and she found somebody selling a ton of ironstone for super cheap, for like a dollar a plate. And I'm looking and looking and looking and I have not found them yet. I don't, I'm starting to get nervous that maybe it's all gone. <laughs> maybe I'm not gonna find them. So, I don't know, we gotta keep going, because who wants to miss out on a dollar ironstone, right? <laughs> oh, this is really cute. Too bad it's got the tape on it right there. This would be really cute on the patio with a couple potted plants sitting on it. So they've got 18. Great chippy yellow paint. Look at how cute this is. Look at that. It's a bird feeder that's like a little, almost looks like an old little bench. It is so cute. 18. This is gonna come home with me for sure. Okay, over here, I'm seeing a lot of brass. So let's take a look. Let's check out her prices. This etched vase, 22. I found one almost exactly like this at a garage sale recently for $3. That's not a bad price. Look at this big etched coffee table. 350 is what she has on that. It's a beautiful painting. It is on canvas. Let's see what the price is on this. Uh, it's free, no price. That's a really pretty. Some 
beautiful books. on this piece. That's a really nice piece. Made in India. Heavy. It's a great piece there. So these are neat. I've never really seen any like this before. It's $22 for the set of three. It's like a little sleigh on them. Made in India. Those I've just never seen before. Those are really cute. And I like this little table that it's all on too. This big planter, what's she got on this? 18 on this big planter. How fun are these? I don't think they're working because they're only Ten, but just for decor, they're so cute. And then look at this. So they got 125 on it. Now I am not a toy expert, but I just love the colors. I think that is absolutely adorable and so fun. table 42 okay this is my friend Michelle's booth and she's also a vendor at my antique mall and she just has some really great pieces lots of really cool primitives like this cabinet amazing this little picture great piece. Love the blue on this. Amazing. Check out this red piece here. Sold. Yay for her. This whole big cabinet. This ink stamp set. Very cool. Oh, take a look at this piece, you guys. Look at this. $6.95, which is an amazing price. That is a gorgeous piece. I wish I had room for it, but I don't. All right, so this piece right here is incredible. They've got $3.95 on it, and it is solid oak. Plus, look at these brushes. Those are pretty amazing. I'm really trying to think hard about if I have any place in my house where I could use this. You guys, I've spotted them. Somebody tipped me off that there were some Lord's Supper prints, and I see them now. They're up here. <laughs> Finally found them. Let's go see what they are. See if there's any worth taking home with me. in love with this trunk here. They have a price of 35 which I feel like is pretty fair. Love the color. We're going to ask about that, I think. All right. Just spotted this toll tray down here. Love these colors.
That is beautiful. I think that's going to come home with me. All right, my friends, I've gone back to pick up my last thing that I bought. It is about lunchtime and the lines here are super long. So I think I'm gonna head into town. Um, there's a Sonic in Prairie Grove, maybe grab a burger and a cherry limeade. And I'll show you guys a little bit of downtown Prairie Grove before I head home for the day. So if you wanted to get out and do a little day trip with your girlfriends, then you could definitely spend a whole afternoon here in Prairie Grove. Uh, it's usually not quite this busy. Obviously with Junk Ranch going on, there's a lot of people here. These stores are open most of the weekdays. Uh, you may wanna double check with some of them. I'm sure Friday and Saturday, pretty much all the stores that are down here are open, but there are um, some small little restaurants. There's a place to grab a cup of coffee and really several, several stores that you can wander through that you can for sure spend a whole afternoon. here on a store called the Southern Mercantile. It's at the end of this little strip. And again, this store, you guys, is absolutely gorgeous. It is, I mean, unbelievable quality pieces, displays, the vendors. So again, I gotta get home today. We can't go in today, but let me know in the comments if you would like me to come back and do a tour of the store for you guys. So this store here, Old School Vintage, is another one that I like to go in. And if you like true antiques and collectibles, then you would really enjoy this store. This guy is very, very knowledgeable in what he has in his shop. And then I also want to share with you just a little bit of the downtown area outside of the shopping strip. There are these pretty old houses, really big tree-lined streets. It's just a nice little town to explore. You guys take a look at this old church that is currently for sale it just it makes me sad um, but then I also just am hopeful that maybe someone will come in and recognize it for its potential and turn it into something really incredible whenever I see an old church for sale I do feel a little bit sad but I just think that's a beautiful building it's got some really pretty stained glass right there I hope somebody does something with it and this house here, it looks like it's in the midst of maybe undergoing some renovation. It's got some solar panels on it, but look at that. Just absolutely gorgeous. These beautiful big old trees. It's really a really just charming little community.
So this is Battlefield Park here in Prairie Grove, and it is a very, very large park that is dedicated to the Battle of Prairie Grove that happened during the Civil War. Now, I am not a Civil War history expert. My husband, as a kid, used to come down here for field trips all the time. He grew up in this area. So this is actually my first time here, and it's absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of really nice shade. There are a lot of plaques to read. There's um, kind of a museum with some information in it. And then I know over um, Labor Day weekend, they usually have what's called the Clothesline Fair, which is a large festival where they have square dancing and crafts and all that kind of stuff. So I do believe it was closed for a couple years during COVID. It's now reopened. Um, so this Battlefield Park is a big part of Prairie Grove. And another option, if you wanted to plan a day here, a day to come visit, it would be a great um, place to spend a little bit of time, especially under these beautiful shade trees. Hey guys, we're back home and real quick, I wanna head inside and show you just up close the things that I got. We're gonna do a real quick run through this haul. Okay guys, this isn't gonna be a long walk through all of these things. One, because I am just hot and tired. It's been a long day, but I thought y'all may wanna see a little bit closer up the items that I got today. So the first is this beautiful cobalt blue pitcher. Got this pretty pattern on the bottom. Um, she gave this to me for $15. This uh, will likely go in my online store or up in my booth. All right, I met Stacy from The Weathered Pearl. She says she's a viewer, she's from Oklahoma. And she had this beautiful hand painted toll tray. I love the colors on it. It would go perfectly in my living room. Um, maybe I'll keep it, not really sure. If I'm, if I'm feeling really nice, maybe I'll give it to my sister because she collects these. But um, it was 20, which I thought was a great price on this. Another $20 item is this fun basket. It's kind of got that mid-century uh, vibe to it. Um, <laughs> I grabbed it and a lady, it was sitting next to the ground, like next to me, and a lady said, oh, are you getting that basket? And I was like, yeah, I am, I already claimed it. And she said, I think it would look great in a bathroom with a bunch of toilet paper in it. That was her idea. So you could use it for that. There's a million things you could use it for, but it was different, um, sturdy, in great shape. And so this is likely gonna go straight up to my booth. Okay, the very first thing I got was this adorable bird feeder. And y'all know I'm just a sucker for anything in miniature. And this kind of looked like, you know, like a little mini porch swing. So I'm gonna go find a spot to hang this up in my backyard right now, um, or after this video is over with, because we've got lots of birds. And I think it'll make just a really fun um, accent. So she had 18 on it. Um, I bundled it together with this basket and um, I paid 25 for both. So a couple of dollars off this, a couple of dollars off this. Okay, this I think is my most favorite find of the day. It is this adorable painted little ooh, dollhouse, but it, it's not a dollhouse. It's like it's drawers, um, but it's painted to look like a dollhouse, but it's so cute and so 20 bucks for this um, this i am keeping it's going to go in my living room i think it's going to look amazing so what's a trip to the junk ranch without another last supper picture right um i met d from pink pearl vintage she had bought several of them and um this one of the ones that she had spoke to me the most i need some more kind of long ones like this so we we're going to find a place in the hallway to add this one and uh, i paid 15 for it Okay, speaking of Dee from The Pink Pearl, she gave me a nice price on these three milk glass pieces. Uh, they've all got this same kind of fluted pattern to them, which is just a little bit different than what I'm normally seeing. So there's this taller vase here. And then I really like this little short one. 
and then you've got kind of a compote. So um, I got all of these from her for 22. All right, and here's the last thing that I wanna show you. Um, this gentleman offered me all of this antique ironstone for $20. <laughs> so um, the pitcher, he originally had 10 on it. Each soup terrine, he had 15. Um, there is a sugar. It doesn't have a lid to it. There's um, all of these tiny little fruit bowls. There is this little dish, which is really crazed, as you can tell. A couple of salad plates, some bread plates. This terrine, which this one has the broken um, that had been glued back on. And then this one. And then the pitcher is beautiful. Um, the back side of it does have several cracks on it. So the, his story was that he got all of this um, from uh, a gentleman's house who had been a doctor and that they still had the um, catalog from where they'd ordered it in the 30s. So because it's not in the best condition, that's why he gave it to me for that price. Um, there you can see they all have this mark on them. And so um, English, John Edwards. Uh, but you know, I really don't mind. Like I don't mind the chipping. I don't mind the crazing, um, especially 20 bucks for all of it. I'm pretty sure that there are some pieces in here that I can sell to make my money back on them. everybody thank you so much for joining me on this video today if you had fun and you enjoyed this please drop me a little thumbs up and of course if you're not a subscriber subscribe and I ask you guys to do that just because that means so much to my channel um, YouTube counts all of that stuff and it really helps support my channel when we get those thumbs up and we get those new subscribers and then tell me in the comments what you thought about Junk Ranch or if you've ever been to Prairie Grove maybe you saw something that you think I should have gotten something that I missed or um, let me know just your thoughts in general about visiting the town. I hope that you decide to come visit sometime. I do think Prairie Grove has a lot to offer and can make a great kind of afternoon or a day trip with, with your girlfriends. Um, so yeah, that's it. I am exhausted. So I'm gonna sign off, go start putting this stuff away, and I'll see you guys back in about a week.